Okay, so today I have a picture. You can see the before and the after. First thing you need to do is you need to apply a little bit of a primer. I'm using Dixie Belle Slick Stick here. This will give the ceramic surface a place for the paint to stick and not come off. So next I'm gonna go ahead and apply two coats of the Dixie Belle Cotton. This is a chalk paint and it goes on super smooth and will give the picture a nice even white color. I've thought about with the next picture what I'll do is I'll use maybe a creamier color and that way it'll give me an ironstone look. But for this one, I chose bright white. Okay, so after the paint dries, I'm going to go ahead and pick out what I'm going to use to decorate it. I'm choosing the Malats transfers from Iron Orchid Designs, and I'm going to go with the mushrooms. The mushrooms are super cute, and they come in all different sizes and colors. Um, I chose to just go with the red ones with the white polka dots. These are simple, but they're cute, and they add a lot to this little white pitcher. Simply just rub it on, and... Once you get it released, it comes off and it's super cute. Now you definitely do want to seal it. So I'm going to be using the fine line crackle. It gives the appearance of porcelain. It is two parts and you definitely want to make sure you apply both with a clean, dry brush. So first thing I do is I apply a nice even coat of the step one, including the inside of the lip. Then after that thoroughly dries, I'm going to add the fine line crackle part two. Now you want to make sure you brush this on and don't overwork it. You want to apply enough, but you don't want it to drip. I did have a couple drips when I got done, but after I used the wax paste on it, it did look cool with the drips. So I'm just brushing over it, giving it enough. The thicker you put it on, the thicker your fine line cracks will be. Once this dries and you look really carefully, you will see the cracks. See them here? Look really carefully, see the arrow, and then there's one right over the mushroom. Okay, so next we're gonna take some antique paste and we're gonna rub it into all of these cracks to give it an aged look. It's amazing what this little process will do. So I just have my gloves on and I'm just going to rub and make sure I get it into the cracks. Once I have enough on, I'm just gonna take a paper towel or rag and you can just wipe it back and remove the excess. And then you'll see all of the amazing cracks. If these are not enough cracks for you, you can take your heat gun and get more. If you are enjoying this video, please give it a like. Also consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, make sure you click that notification button so you can be notified when I post another video. Okay, as you can see, after you wipe it back, you can see the gorgeous cracks. Now, it does leave a little bit of a haze, so if you take the clear wax paste and brush it or wipe, wipe it on, you can wipe it back and get rid of that brownish haze and just leave it in, in the cracks. Here's a good example right here by the handle. See how brown it is? Put a little bit of the clear wax paste on and then wipe it back with a paper towel and it takes that away so it doesn't look dirty and smudged. You don't have to do this step, but it certainly does clean it up. Look at this last example here by the lip. A little brown spot simply just erases it with that. After you complete this step, you definitely want to seal the base. Now I'm using the glossy varnish. It's solvent based. So it can go right over the water-based products without a problem. Also, this will give a little, um, uh, like an amber or a vintage hue, which adds to the character of this new vase. I can hardly believe the makeover. I have been buying pictures like crazy from the thrift stores. So what do you think of this thrift flip? I just love it.